We welcome you back to GMA and we want to get right back to more of our top story. Buffalo Bills safety Damar Hamlin suffering cardiac arrest after a hit during Monday Night Football. Dr. Jennifer Ashen is back with more on this. 24 years old, yeah. we saw the tackle. What do and don't we know right now? Well, first of all, let's start with the obvious. He's a 24-year-old, very healthy, elite professional athlete. So that's obviously in his favor. Um, there's a lot we do not know. We don't know what caused his heart to stop on the field. Um, we know his heart did stop because CPR was performed, and that's only done in the setting of a cardiac arrest where there is no pulse or heartbeat. Uh, and there's a lot of speculation on the mm. part of late public and medical professionals alike what could have caused it could have been a hit to the chest could it have been a vascular or blood vessel injury um, could it have been a neurologic injury that caused that we don't know and i think we have to remember unless you are his medical team um, not to speculate but right now i think the the CPR that occurred on national television um, is the only thing that we can focus on. And we on. didn't see it because, boy, the players for both teams, how they surrounded him, you know, protecting his, his privacy like that. And you could see, Jen, these grown big football players so emotional yeah. in what they were witnessing. And, and you know, Robin, I was just telling someone when I was working in a hospital, I, per, I assisted many resuscitations on cardiac arrest patients. And I will tell you that the first thing we do in a hospital setting is pull a curtain. Mm. That's for the patient's privacy and out of respect for that human being. Um, and those players did, yeah. did the same exact thing. Um, and so it's not appropriate for that to be televised. It's not appropriate for even the people in the stadium to be watching that um, because of what's going on at that moment. And I want to be crystal clear, even if you are a medical professional, when you see someone having CPR performed on them, that is an upsetting thing to see. What is the standard of care in case of a cardiac arrest? Uh, immediate uh, beginning of CPR and rapid defibrillation with an automatic defibrillator if they have a rhythm that we call in medicine a shockable rhythm. Not every type of cardiac arrest can be defibrillated. Um, the machine will tell you that. But again, this was a situation where on the sidelines of every professional sporting event, you will have MDs, paramedics, certified athletic trainers, people who are trained and qualified to resuscitate someone. Um, but a lot of that can be done also by a bystander with no, tr no or minimal training. And I think that's the take home here. Learn CPR. If you see a defibrillator there, it will talk you through the entire process. Uh, we know that he's been put to sleep at this point. Explain what that means. And also, is intubation common in this kind of scenario? It's very, very common after a cardiac arrest. And I think, you know, the term put to sleep is not a medical term. That's kind of the lay public translation. Um, when someone is intubated, when they have an endotracheal tube down their trachea to help support their respiration, they are always sedated. So that's where that kind of phrase is, is coming from. Um, and that's being done to protect his airway. Um, when there's any question of brain injury, certainly after a cardiac arrest, you wanna make sure that those vital signs and his ability to oxygenate, oxygenate anyone's ability to keep their blood oxygenated is protected. And the best way to do that is with intubation and sedation. All right, Dr. Jen, thank you so much. We know that those prayers continue for DeMar. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.